Um, export is vitally important for our designers and makers. Um, when I meet designers and makers, I always say to them, you know, you really need to, for yourself from an international perspective, you should compete and compare yourself to UK brands, to German brands, to American brands, um, and view yourself um, from, from the perspective of the wider uh, consumer, not just the Irish landscape. Um, Ireland as a marketplace is quite small, so it's only natural that we would look to our neighbours like the UK or the USA for increased sales. Um, this is also quite helpful because a lot of our designers and makers have already worked overseas or have trained overseas, and therefore it comes quite naturally to consider a UK show or a French show uh, when targeting um, the export market. Technology has a huge role uh, to play, especially in the creative sector. Um, designers and makers now can you know, upload images of their work um, onto Instagram, onto Twitter, and share it with an international marketplace. So uh, consumers in Germany, France, or the, you know, the USA can see Irish designers and makers, their work, their ideas, their products. Um, so it's easy for uh, consumers um, to access information about our Irish designers and makers. And the trends that we're seeing as well are, tend to be international trends, even though a lot of our designers and makers will bring with them something very unique, something very specifically Irish or maybe Celtic. But the universal international trends are quite common. So if you're selling into the Irish uh, consumer, it can be quite easy to link with that international trend and sell into the USA or the European markets. Start researching, start looking around, start watching what everyone else is doing. Um, a smart move is to find out what your uh, international peers are up to. If you really like um, a product that is in your uh, discipline, follow them, see where they're going and see what they're doing. Um, the first stop would be to have a look at the uh, Design and Crafts Council of Ireland website. Pay attention to their opportunities and their events and exhibitions that will be coming up. Um, there's also a wide range of training and mentoring available and you not only hear about the shows, the international shows and the opportunities that are available, but you'll also meet like-minded designers and makers who you can share information with. Um, crafts people sometimes think, you know, you're on your own and you're working with yourself. Once you start networking with other designers and makers, they have the same challenges and issues as you. They also want to get to UK shows, get to USA shows. So I would keep an eye on the Design and Crafts Council website, follow their uh, guides, avail of any of the workshops or the mentoring activities that they provide to help support the, your export sales. Um, also, I would say if you're thinking of going to an international trade show, go visit first. It's really, really hard to just arrive and think everything is going to be, you know, fall into place. You need to get out there, walk the show, see what's there, see the price points that your, your, the other exhibitors are charging, the quality of the products, um, just the various disciplines and categories that, that you would need to have a look at.